A very good morning. You are welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Roy Theta Sejian here. We look at stories making headlines across the country. We can start off today's bulletin from Buvuma District. The 52 islands of Buvuma District are now one of Uganda's tourism destinations. The State Minister of Tourism, Godfrey Chiwanda, has said Chiwanda officiated at a number of activities in Buvuma. These included a marathon, boat races, and touring a cave on my island. The cave was formed out of rocks locally known as Embuta in Luganda. The minister said his tour of Buvuma Islands and the launch as a tourism destination were part of the ministry's weekend escape program called named Tulambule, which is aimed at promoting tourism in Uganda. And our news coming in from Hoima District, a court case by over 250 families who were evicted from their land in Ramtonga village, Bugamba sub-county in Hoima District, hangs in balance over their inability to pay 37 million shillings in court filing fees. In August 2014, the families were evicted to pay for, for their for a Mark Energy Resource Limited, an American company, to set up an oil waste treatment plant in Hoima. Consequently, they were forced into a camp for internally displaced people. With support from civil society organizations, the affected families challenged their eviction in the High Court at Masindi. In 2015, Justice Simon Biabakama ruled that the eviction was wrongful, though he did not get them back to their land. Last year, families filed a case against the landlords, namely Joshua Tibagwa, Solomon Tibangwa, Harriet Kinihira, and Lydia Kahwa. And now let's take a look at what's making headlines in today's copy of the new vision. Today's headline is Police Boss Bakalike faces three cases and also Workers Union opposes pay rise for civil servants. You can get all those details in today's copy of the new vision. Also in the new vision there is the oil and gas journal. The headline is joint ventures sure path to oil opportunities. You want to get these opportunities get your copy of the new vision also in the new vision we have her vision the headline is financial literacy the pennywise women in business you want to know who these women are get your copy of the new vision from sports watch out okay she cranes won the rest after sinking Barbados. Get your copy of the New Vision for all the details of the stories and more at only 2,000 shillings. And remember, we are the leading daily. Let's now move on to other stories making headlines across the region and we look at, we go to Soreti District. Now the police arrested the deputy speaker of Amoria District for allegedly impersonating a state house employee and being in illegal possession of government stores. Francis Emongu, 35 years, the, the LC5 councillor of Wera Sub County, was arrested at Chinjaj Ward in Northern Division, Soroti Municipality, for allegedly conning people of their money with the hope that they would get jobs in a state house. Emongu was found in possession of a forged state house identity card, handcuffs, and a toy pistol. Michael Odong, the police regional spokesperson of East Chilga region, said Emongo was arrested following a tip-off from officials in State House. And uh, finally, from Nebi District, the Infectious Disease Institute, ED, is allegedly circumcising school-going children in Nebi District without seeking consent from their parents. ED is a Uganda non-profit organization established within Makere University. It provides care and treatment services to people living with HIV in urban and rural Uganda. The organization also provides extensive prevention services, including medical medical male circumcision and refer a referral center for HIV. Maurice Quach, the Nebi District Secretary for Social Services, said they have received complaints from parents that their children have been picked from schools and circumcised without their consent. ED has a target to circumcise about 5,000 males in Nebi District and they have so far circumcised 300 over the past two weeks. 
And that's all I had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Ruthie Nasajay.